Help support AMTV by becoming a patron, an AMTV staff member, and following us over on Twitter. Hi there guys, it's Adam Martin here, and welcome back to another installment of The Now Review. And it's that time of the year again, the spring release. We're going to be taking a look today at Now That's What I Call Music 111. 111, baby, though we've got triple digits here. So, let's take a look at this cover art first. And as you can see, we've got a lot of different characters here, like a lot of uh, cartoony, like, animals. One's, like, got its tongue out, I think. One's smiling, one's got one eye. Sort of reminds me of, like, the minions, in a way, from Despicable Me, or some, like, kids' characters that we get nowadays. I mean, I think it's cute. It's it's not for me, personally. I mean, it's nice and colourful. The pig still sort of gets a representation down there in the bottom left in this in this style. I know a lot of people don't like this, but I mean, it's fine. I think we've had much like worse or at least more bland covers. So I'll accept that. And as they've been doing recently, they've got uh, a selection of artists at the bottom there. Of course, that's like a throwback to the early days when they used to do that. And the whole bottom line is the Encanto cast. So that's a pretty good indication of what you're going to see here. As always, it's in a standard CD jewel case. I think these are the only now releases that still come in uh, typical CD jewel cases, apart from like two disc spin-offs. So the best of the best, eh? Let's see then as we look at this all-important track list. Okay, so kicking things off, of course, with We Don't Talk About Bruno from Encanto. I mean, I'd have been very surprised if this wasn't here. This has been a smash monster hit of 2022 so far. I think it stayed number one for, what was it, seven or eight weeks on the chart, which is like the most successful number one Disney song on the chart ever, even more so than Let It Go, arguably. You have Shivers by Ed Sheeran, of course, which was off his most recent album, cracking song there. You have George Ezra with Anyone For You, which is the lead single of his new album, which is coming out soon, nice and catchy. You have Lost Frequencies and Callum Scott with Where Are You Now, A Craze and Cherish with Do It To It. I like that song, actually. Belters Only and Jazzy with Make Me Feel Good. Jax Jones and... Uh, M-N-E-K or M-N-E-K, I, I never remember how you say it, with Where Did You Go, heard that a lot on the radio recently. Has that got to number one yet, or is it, it was climbing the charts last time I checked. Uh, you have Lauren Spencer Smith with Fingers Crossed, that's been everywhere at the minute, as has House on Fire by Mimi Webb. You have Billie Eilish with No Time to Die, which yes, did technically come out in 2020, uh, which was when the film was meant to release, of course, before the pandemic, but hey, nice that we finally have it on a main number now album. You have uh, Joel Corey, Feet Mabel with I Wish, Sigala with Melody, Alesso and Katy Perry with When I'm Gone. Nice to hear her on a new track. I, I do like Katy's voice on a lot of these big pop anthems. You have Tiesto and Ava Max with The Motto. Have Years and Years and Galantis with Sweet Talker. Heard that one a lot as well. Kylie Minogue and Jessie Ware with Kiss of Life. Great song. Yola with Dancing Away in Tears. Tate McRae with She's All I Wanna Be. Love this trend of like all songs being in lowercase. It's happened over the last few years, hasn't it? Holly Humberstone with London Is Lonely. Shawn Mendes with It'll Be Okay. Uh, Coldplay and Selena Gomez with Let Somebody Go. Post Malone and The Weeknd with One Right Now. I haven't heard from Post Malone in a while, I don't think. You have Imagine Dragons, uh, G.I.D., Arcane and League of Legends with Enemy, which of course is the theme or one of the themes from the TV show of the same name. I've seen the first three episodes on Netflix. Highly recommend it, by the way. Really cool. You have Liam Gallagher with Everything's Electric, which has been... Hasn't that been doing well in the charts? Like one of his solo hits doing well. And uh, Muse with Won't Stand Down, which I haven't heard. The Muse have been going quite a while. So I'll have to listen to that. So there you go. A mam of 25 tracks on CD1. Let's see what CD2 has to offer. Okay then, so kicking off CD2, we have The Weeknd with Sacrifice. Another banger track from him. Gale with ABC, brackets nicer, because I think the non-radio-friendly version is a bit a bit ruder. Uh, you have Lude feet Colin Hay with Down Under. I don't think I've heard that one. Regard with Years and Years and Hallucination. Charlie XCX feet Orina Sawayama. Sorry if I'm getting that wrong. With Beg For You. Justin Bieber with Ghost. I, I haven't heard that Bieber track. Cat Burns with Go. The Anxiety, Willow and Tyler Cole with Meet Me At Our Spot. No, that's not Willow Smith, is it? Is it? That'd be mad. Bruno Mars, Anderson Pack, or Silk Sonic with Smoking Out the Window. Doja Cat with Woman. Summer Walker and S uh, SLA with No Love. Or Scissor, I should say. Oh, I'm not down with, with the modern culture at all. Pink Panthers uh, with Just For Me. RD with Flowers Say My Name. You have Craig David and M Mnek or MNEK with Who You Are. You have Ella Henderson with Brave. She's been going for quite a while now, really, hasn't she? Richard Ashcroft feet Liam Gallagher. There he is again with Come On People. 
Fools with Wake Me Up, Bastille with Shut Off the Lights, Medusa and Hosier with Tell It to My Heart, Swedish House Mafia in the weekend with Moth to a Flame. Swedish House Mafia, yeah, they've they've reformed after what's it been like nine, ten years, something like that. I'll be curious to hear that track. Uh, Charlie Puth with Light Switch. Tears for Fears with Break the Man from their new album, The Tipping Point. Great album, by the way. Highly recommend you listen to that. Westlife with My Hero. They're still appearing on Now albums all these years later. Westlife. Michael Bublé with I'll Never Not Love You. And Elton John and Stevie Wonder with Finish Line. Haven't heard that duet. That sounds pretty cool. So another 25 tracks, which means for the first time in Now history, we have a Now numbered release uh, with 50, yes, count them right, 50 tracks across two discs. 50 tracks across two discs, eh? That's a feat in itself. What a record. Well, we'll talk more about that in a sec. Let's get this open. All right, then. So when you open it up, you get a, a wonderful mash of colors and characters. I, I mean, again, I know it's not for everyone, but I do love all this madness of, like, color. And these quirky characters are all right. They're growing on me. I like the artwork, I guess. The artwork's very cool. I see on the left there. Disc one is a lovely pink and purple tones. They're always a nice color combination to see with some of those. There's one of those characters there and some of the shapes as well. That's disc one. Really nice. Here is disc two, which is orange and red. I think I prefer the disc one colors, but orange and red, uh, I wouldn't have picked red to go with the orange personally, but again, that's just me. And you can follow now on all their social medias for the weekly updates, which I actually highly recommend that you do. It is quite useful. Um, there's no, I, I'm not really going to show the book clip because there's not much point because obviously if you know the old numbered nows, they used to have like information about the song, where, they, where it got in the charts, things like that. They don't do that anymore. They've scrapped that. So it is just mainly copyright information, things like that, and a, and a few adverts as well. So it is a shame that they've scrapped that for whatever reason, whether it's for saving money or they just don't think it's necessary anymore. But yeah, it, I do think it is a bit of a shame. So what are my closing thoughts on this album then? Well, as always, if you like the recent chart music that you're hearing in 2022, you'll probably like a good selection of what's on now 111. 50 tracks though, how have they managed that? Well, I've noticed a lot of like the chart songs recently seem to average between like between two and three minutes in length. I'd say even a few years ago, the average song could be between three, three and a half minutes, but a lot of them are like two and a half. So obviously if songs are shorter, you can fit more on one disc. In fact, I think the longest one on disc one off the top of my head might be No Time To Die. That's about four minutes, but most of them are nice, quick, snappy, poppy, dancey songs that are going to get you up and going. And you know what? If that's what people want, that's great. There's a lot of rubbish stuff happening in the world right now, and we could all do with a nice bit of pop music to cheer us up a bit when necessary. Yeah, if you don't like chart music, of course, stay away. This this release isn't really for you. You're not going to get much enjoyment out of it. But again, if you like what you're hearing on the radio or out in the out in the clubs on the weekends or whatever, then you'll probably like a good chunk of Now 111. I'm hoping as I go through it when I listen to it myself that they've not just put like a lot of filler tracks just to get to that 50 number because 50 is quite the number to hit on a two CD album, I gotta tell you. So hopefully quality and like the actual songs chosen hasn't been sacrificed. But from the songs that I do recognize on there, I don't think that's the case, which does reassure me. So quirky covers aside and 50 tracks, I I'm really excited to give this a full listen. You can get it from all the usual places. HMV is selling it for, I believe, uh, t what was it? 12, 11 or 12.99, something like that. I think it's 11.99. You can also get it from some supermarkets if you're lucky, if your supermarket still stock CDs. You can get it online, of course, from online retailers. Uh, you can get it from your independent music retailer if you have one, if they stock CDs. But yes, that is all for this installment of The Now Review. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, as always, please leave a like on this video and let me know in the comments down below. Are you going to be picking up the latest installment of the Now Numbered series? Is this for you? Are you happy with the track list? Or are you going to pass? And just out of interest, if you don't mind, let me know, what's your favourite track on Now 111? I'd love to know. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. We'd love to have you aboard here with us. I've been Adam Martin from MTV. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you to our patrons for helping to support the show, and a special thank you to Macra, Hooks Media, Ben Freeman, Ethan Carberry-Holt, Bruce Danton, The Broken Kit Suminoid, to Bose Crotz, Globe of Reviews, Trev Hughes, Derek Chambers, Sean Nock, Bailey Green, and DSTV New Zealand, our AMTV staff members.